has received most of the attention this summer over what has happened, but it is not the only place where wastewater is being dumped into the riverways. 7 Eyewitness News I-Team lead investigator Charlie Speck with us tonight. Charlie, I understand you've got some more information. Keith, we got our hands on some state data today that shows, yeah, the Niagara River is polluted, but there's two other waterways that have an awful lot of sewage being dumped into them as well. These two, they're in Erie County. Just in the last month, according to the state DEC, there were 8.3 million gallons of raw sewage dumped into the Niagara River. But there were also 3 million gallons of sewage dumped into the Buffalo River, and another 3 million discharged into Skajakwita Creek. That's enough to fill nine Olympic-sized swimming pools with sewage. The culprit here is the sewer system in the town of Cheektowaga, which was once a wetland that sucked up water, but is now covered in large part by parking lots. As a result, the sewer system can't handle that water, so untreated sewage gets dumped into these waterways almost every time there's a heavy rain. Now, all this is legal, but it's a problem the state wants to solve. Chictawaga is already under a consent order with the DEC to upgrade that sewer system, and to that end, the state has handed the town over $20 million in grants and loans to start repairing those pipes. All right, now this is data that you found out because you're an investigator, but what about the average person? How would he or she know if the waterways near where they live are safe? Well, just as a rule, you're going to want to avoid any uh, river or stream near you for about a day after a heavy rain. But there's also a cool thing here. You can sign up for text alerts with the New York State DEC and get an alert, a text message right to your phone every time any sewage is dumped into a waterway near your house. So I suppose you go on the DEC website and you can sign up right there. That's right. We have that on our website, wkbw.com as well. All right, Charlie, thanks for the update.